it's eight degrees Celsius. There's a threat of rain in the air as well, but it hasn't put off the spectators for this one. So much at stake for these two sides after Hecken's 1-0 win in Portugal last week. It means Benfica realistically have to win here this evening to keep their hopes of qualification alive. They're bottom of the table with just one point. A win for Hecken would put them in a very strong position going into the final two group matches next month. Nazareth, who might go alone, and she does, forcing the first save from Falk. Inside the first 90 seconds, the birthday girl testing the Swedish keeper from distance. And the captain was equal to it, but Benfica with a really bright start here, looking to strike first and strike early. get on the end of this one as Benfica look to make a, a bright start. It's not really dealt with successfully by Hecken. And appeals for a penalty as it comes in and it's still not cleared. It's ping-pong inside that penalty area and eventually the ball is lashed in and Benfica had scored their first goal in the Champions League this season. Well, that did not take long. And that blows Group D wide open. Look at this, it was chaos inside that penalty area. They just couldn't get the ball clear and eventually it was Chloe Lacasse who managed to lash the ball home. The club's top scorer for the last two seasons on the spot and drilling Benfica ahead early on. It was 10 seasons since Beckham first qualified for the Champions League back in 2012. Uh, the first yellow card of the night is to the captain, Arletta, in the book. Rubinson standing over this one. It's a really good opportunity, goes begging for the home side. Julia Carlones on the end of it. She was unmarked. You can see what she was trying to do. Head it back across goal and into the bottom corner. Vic. Britain can read. It's the one-two with Vic. Gets the return as well. And a chance to cross towards Larson with the header. Not far away for the home side. It was a well-worked move by Hecken. It was one of the better chances of the match for the home side. So the home side looking to make a bright start to the second half. Litton Cannery with some space to play with, gets the shot in. How close was that to an equaliser? Not too far away, had Letitia scrambling. to Valeria cheaply. Now, what can the Brazilian do with it? Lacas up against Gavitz. Lacas going down, and Lacas winning the free kick. Luna Gavitz, it was, conceding the free kick. The Danish defender, 23rd appearance in UEFA competition. And there's the chance for Pauletta with the header, forcing the save from Falk. She cannot believe it. Yenova Falk scrambling to her right-hand side and keeping the header from Pauletta at bay. A really fine save. And it could be an important one as well. Here it comes, too high for everyone. Can clear their lines. Amada puts it back in towards Lacasse. They're knocking at the door at the start of this second half, Benfica. 
Chloe Lacasse, not far away from her second of the evening. Well, Hecken have only suffered one defeat at home in 12 matches in all competitions. That came here on match day one. They're looking to level things here, and the shot comes in from Millie Gale, just hooks it wide in the end. Just opened up, Alexa to go on the outside, drop the shoulder, and then trying to drill it into the opposite bottom corner. Rubinson stands it up. Miatovic brings it down. Miatovic still going. What a ball. Across the face of goals. Larson is there, and that's behind for a corner. Really nice play by Melissa Miatovic. Just trying to lift it over the top for Britton Canareed. Rubinson takes the corner. And the heads go up, cleared up the line, appeals for handball, and the referee has pointed to the spot. Just like they did seven days ago. Hecken have a chance from 12 yards. A yellow card for Christy Uchebe. Well, it was Rubinson's corner. And Uchebe inside the six-yard area, just sticking out that right arm. Seven days ago, Ellen Rubinson went to Letitia's right. And Rubinson has the chance to beat Letitia from the spot once again. And she does once again. Letitia guessed the right way, but there was too much pace and precision on it. And Heckener right back in this now. Amador. Going on the outside of Sommers. Standing it up as well towards Anna Vittoria. Another chance for the Brazilian. Another chance comes her way. Another chance goes begging. Oh no, that's given away. A gift for Larson. Can she capitalise? Larson with the finish. Letitia with the save. A really good opportunity. Gifted to Hecken. Denied by Letitia. Goes towards Larson again. Miatovic gets the shot away. They're edging ever so closer now, Hacken. Going to have three minutes added on at the end of the 90. There is still time for either side to steal this. It's Benfica who will have the chance to do so with a set piece. Concentrate here, in it comes, it's a really dangerous one to the far post, there's the opportunity and they have scored. Well they scored early and now they've scored late as well. Benfica have surely stolen this right at the death. Hecken undone by a set piece just like they were in the first half. Katerina Amado it is, receiving the congratulations. Has she scored the goal that keeps Benfica's Champions League hopes alive? It means that Group D is wide open. Still good support from the home fans despite the late drama. But it is Benfica who have stolen all three points right into the death. They scored early, they scored late. And it is the Portuguese champions who have won in Gothenburg. They've seen off Hecken by two goals to one. <laughs>